Welcome to Next Gen Tesla. The vision of an electric aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and supersonic speeds has long lived in the imagination of dreamers. Yet now it seems the moment has finally arrived when such an idea has crossed from fantasy into reality. Tesla has unveiled its groundbreaking project, a $78,910. Super electric planes set to reshape the aviation landscape in ways that once seemed inconceivable. Years, whispers circulated about Tesla engineers toiling behind closed doors on a project bigger than cars, trucks, or even energy storage. And now that hidden effort has surfaced as part of Tesla's new master plan, this is not just an extension of the company's automotive dominance, it is a direct leap into the skies. What's being revealed today goes beyond concepts and renders. It is a production plan scheduled for 2026 that promises to change aviation and transportation on a global scale. It no longer feels like a matter of whether Tesla can fly, but when ordinary people across cities like New York, Los Angeles, London, or Sydney will step into one of these aircraft with their families. With the announcement, excitement spreads, like wildfire. Tesla is no longer being measured against legacy automakers, but now against aerospace giants who have long monopolized the skies. The question becomes, can the same gigafactory system that has powered the rise of electric cars be repurposed to produce aircraft at scale? The numbers Tesla presents suggest the answer is yes. Beginning in the second quarter of 2026, mass production of the Tesla superelectric plane will begin with three gigafactories, forming the initial backbone. Gigafactory Texas in Austin, Gigafactory Shanghai in China, and Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg in Germany. By early 2027, Gigafactory Mexico and Monterey will join the operation, adding an entirely new dimension to production capacity. Each location is chosen strategically. Texas as the heart of North American output, Shanghai as the gateway to Asia Pacific, Berlin to serve Europe and the UK, and Mexico to cover both Latin America and supplement North American demand. Together they form a global triangle of aerospace production never before seen in the history of aviation. Tesla has already demonstrated that its gigafactories are capable of astonishing productivity. For example, Gigafactory Texas alone produced more than 410,000 vehicles in a single quarter of 2025 which shows the plant's sheer ability to scale output rapidly. That same aggressive production system is now being adapted for aircraft. By dedicating approximately 20% of the floor space within each gigafactory to aerospace assembly, Tesla is repurposing its automotive lines and retooling them with aviation-grade equipment. From composite airframe assembly, two modules for aluminum air battery production. Tesla is laying down infrastructure on a level that traditional aerospace companies struggle to match. Each factory requires an investment of about $500 million to make the conversion possible, bringing the initial total to $1.5 billion. Add to this the $5 billion already committed to Gigafactory Mexico. And the scale of investment illustrates how serious Tesla is about not just experimenting but fully executing on this dream. What makes Tesla uniquely positioned to succeed is its vertical integration strategy. This is the same system that has allowed the company to build up to 80% of its car components in-house. Driving down costs and reducing dependency on outside suppliers. Now that approach is being extended to aviation, enabling Tesla to cut the middlemen out of the process and keep expenses lean while scaling toward mass production. Vertical integration also allows Tesla to integrate lessons from SpaceX and Starlink directly into its aircraft, creating a synergy of space-age technology applied to aviation. It is this combination of automotive mass manufacturing principles and aerospace expertise that separates Tesla's electric plane project from startups and even legacy aerospace corporations. The numbers Tesla projects are staggering. Gigafactory. Texas is expected to become the centerpiece of the entire program. The planned output of 5,000 aircraft annually by 2028, that figure represents half of Tesla's total global production capacity for planes. Shanghai is projected to produce around 3,000 planes per year, satisfying the rapidly growing demand across the Asia-Pacific region. Gigafactory Berlin 
will add 2,000 aircraft per year to meet European and UK requirements, while Mexico will match. That number beginning in 2027 to serve both North and Latin America. Altogether, these factories should deliver 10,000 planes annually by 2028. How wick. With Tesla planning to double that figure too, 20,000 units per year by the turn of the decade in 2030. To put these numbers into context, the global light aircraft market produces about 200,000 units per year. If Tesla reaches its 20,000 per year target, the company will effectively capture 10% of the market in less than five years. Even at the 2028 milestone of 10,000 units, Tesla will hold about 5% of the global market, an achievement. That would cement its dominance not just in electric aviation, but across the entire aerospace industry. The electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL. Market is projected to reach a value of $9 trillion by 2050. And Tesla's early entry into this industry gives it a first mover. It's advantage of historic proportions. Automation is the secret weapon in this production race. Tesla already assembles about 80% of its Model Y vehicles using robotic systems. Slashing labor costs compared to traditional manufacturing. Bringing this level of automation into aviation means Tesla could reduce labor costs by as much as 30% compared to legacy aerospace companies such as Boeing or Cessna, which still rely heavily on human assembly lines. SpaceX's experience with lightweight composites and structural integrity testing gives Tesla an edge in material science. While shared expertise in regulatory certification means Tesla is well positioned to meet FAA and European Aviation Safety Agency EASA, requirements for safety. Pairing these strengths together, Tesla's production costs are expected to land nearly 20% below the broader industry standard. But what about power? Each gigafactory will also contribute to energy production by manufacturing. 10 gigawatt hours of aluminum air batteries every year capacity that translates into power for between 5,000 and 10,000 planes annually, depending on size and usage. This echoes Tesla's earlier strategy when it scaled from just under 1 million cars in 2021 to nearly 1.8 million cars in 2024. The company is simply applying its proven methods to an entirely new industry. The plan is ambitious, but Tesla's track record of rapid execution lends it credibility. Of course, production is only one side of the equation. Delivering the aircraft to customers worldwide presents its own set of challenges, yet Tesla has already laid the groundwork. The company currently operates more than 200 distribution centers globally for vehicles, charging products, and energy systems. That existing infrastructure will now be repurposed to handle aviation deliveries, meaning Tesla does not need to start from scratch. This is a crucial advantage, a company already capable of delivering 1.79 million in 2024 with over 422,000 delivered in just one quarter will find handling a few thousand planes per year comparatively simple. Tesla is also going beyond traditional distribution. By 2028, the company plans to operate 100 urban vertiports across the world. These vertiports will not merely be landing pads, but full-service aviation hubs integrating charging stations, maintenance facilities, and direct delivery systems located directly inside major metropolitan areas. The rollout envisions 50 in the United States, 30 across Europe, 15 in Asia, and another five in the UK and Australia combined. The innovation here is that customers will not need to drive hours to a conventional airport. Instead, their Tesla aircraft could be delivered to the nearest vertiport in their city weather Los Angeles. New York or Las Vegas, redefining the convenience of aviation. Delivery timelines add credibility to Tesla's bold claims. In the United States, orders placed in the third quarter of 2026 are projected to be fulfilled within three months. By the fourth quarter of the same year, the UK is expected to have an average delivery wait of 3.5 months. Europe four months and Asia five months even under heavy demand thanks to the Shanghai. Gigafactory's planned output of 3,000 planes annually. Tesla's approach mirrors the rapid scaling it achieved with the Model Y, which grew from zero production to over 1 million units per year in just four years. 
backed by $10 billion in cash reserves and an R&D budget of $13 billion shared with SpaceX. Tesla has the financial muscle and technological expertise to back these commitments. This logistical system is further reinforced by Starlink, SpaceX's satellite network of over 7,000 active satellites. Starlink enables real-time tracking of every Tesla aircraft during delivery and in operation, ensuring transparency, reliability, and global coverage. Consumer demand is also aligned with Tesla's ambitions, surveys by the International Air. Transport associations show that 70% of travelers prefer sustainable travel options. And the EVTO market itself is projected to grow at an annual rate of 30% from 2025 through 2030. Tesla is not creating a new demand, but instead positioning itself to deliver on an existing one, making the companies move into aviation. Less a gamble and more a calculated expansion. This is the point where the Tesla narrative takes on its most revolutionary aspect, the battery breakthrough.